Okay, this is W5 HRO. I've uh, after about two weeks, I finally got the the plate transformers coming up and working. So if I hit the PTT, bam! Now the meters are bad. This meter here used to always come up like it was supposed to. This one I used to always have to tap on it. The meters are old. They're those old hermetically sealed meters I got from Peter Dahl years ago in his shed. They were really old, and it's. This one I finally got to come up, but what I had to do was I was playing around and uh, see right now the plate transformers are on so I don't want to reach in there, man. It's like 2400 volts almost with the uh, with just the bleeder loads on it, but it's coming up. But see those 100 mega ohm resistors I'm using to recal these meters. So like 20, uh, 20 microamps is 2000 volts. I just damaged this meter. What I did was this meter on the left like I said, I always had the bang on it to get it to come up. It was like something was wrong with it. So I, I took my voltmeter and I clipped across these uh, two resistors. And I clipped across this one first because I wanted to see what the voltage was. Because this one this one was coming with like 2400 volts, right? Thereabouts. And when I put the meter across the, that resistor, okay, I looked at the voltage. Then I, I transferred the meter over to the other resistor to check the other one. And as soon as I did that, this meter pegged. And I'm like, oh crap, wait a minute. This meter's what, 10 mega ohms maybe? So I just put 10 mega ohms in parallel with the 100 mega ohm resistors. And what I didn't realize is when I, when I put it across this one, this meter was sitting there pegged out for a long time and I damaged it. Now it comes up, it's coming up too low. But the voltage on the output, of the, uh, the supplies are correct. I'm going to have to replace both these meters. This one was always bad, and this one I just damaged it because I had a brain fart moment. But, hey, what the hell? No big deal. I've had a hell of a time resurrecting this thing. But see how, see how uh, loud those relays are? Listen. That's what I don't like. I've got those mechanical relays in there, and I hate those. I absolutely hate, I don't want to hear that click, but right now I have no choice. But anyway, after three, uh, after two weeks, I finally got this thing fired up. That was a battle, man. And now I'm still not done. Now I got to replace these meters to finish it. But at least I finally got the uh, plate supplies coming up. I put this thing together back in, like I said, the early 90s. And that was like 20, what, 27 years ago, maybe it was 1992, 93. It was a long time ago. It's like just under 30 years ago. That's how long ago this thing's been sitting. That's when I put this thing together. It was almost 30 years ago. You know, 27 years ago, plus or minus a year. So anyway, but it's working. I just need to uh, replace those meters now. And uh, I did find some. I just got to buy two new ones. And they're Simpsons. Same size. They're new Simpsons. So that'll take care of the problem. But uh when I get that replaced and I can, uh, you know, well, right now the meters aren't that critical. Even if they're not accurate, the thing's working. I can replace those anytime. It's no big deal. I'm going to order them now, but I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to kind of wait before I install them. I just want to get the rest of the stuff working. But after two weeks, I finally got the supplies resurrected. That literally took forever and it shouldn't have taken that long, but that's what it took to change this thing over from 240 volts AC to 120. It was, it was nuts, man. <laughs> it was nuts. It took me way too long to get this. I ran into too many problems, but I finally I finally got it going. I just got loud, noisy relays that go click. I hate that, but oh well. So anyway, till the next video. This is what? This was part 8, I think. So the next video will be part 9. This is W5HRO.